Hi guys, welcome. Welcome to my, that was my chair. <laughs> welcome to another whip and chat. I haven't done one for a while. Um, I miss doing whip and chats. I'm working on city digs and I'm really enjoying it. There's so many colors and it's just, yeah, it's been a lot of fun. I have two more squares after this one, which I'm almost done with. And then I have one more row, which has four squares and I do three squares a day. So I figure by Sunday I'll be done. Today is why can't I think of what today is? Today's Friday, so I get confused because my husband has flex days and he had yesterday off. And um, for some, I was thinking it was Monday today. So yeah, so I was all messed up. What are you guys doing? Are you guys, do you have any plans for this weekend? I don't besides diamond painting I don't have any plans we've already gone grocery shopping and done all that kind of stuff so um yeah there's really nothing nothing going on okay I need did I get all of the three tens yes you know what I miss is um, my whip and chats that I used to do. I did questions at the end of my whip and chats. And so I'm going to start doing that again, doing the questions. Um, I've gotten a couple of responses, but it's okay if people don't respond. I'm assuming that people like the questions. So I hope so. I hope so people like the questions or at least like the thought of sorry if I'm in your way the thought of the questions going to an AB so we're gonna see if my wax gets all pulled out here I'm just using the regular wax that comes with the kit still and I don't like it I need to get a different kind of wax and I just for some reason I can't decide Oops, now I know I'm bumping you guys, sorry. This thing, this stand, my husband had to make this stand for me for this ring light. Does it, if I turn this on, is that, oh, that's probably glary. I can't see through my phone right now, but I'm sure it's glary. Um, but my husband made this contraption for me you can probably see the wood right here <laughs> that's in my way right now um but yeah it was the only way we could get it to work it's supposed to screw onto a table but this table's weird it has a weird it doesn't really have a lip it has like this little tiny lip that is not a lip it's hard to explain but but yeah, I thought I would start doing the questions at the end again and kind of go from there. Um, having said that, I did not pick out any questions <laughs> from the book for today. So I will be doing it um, on the fly. Some of the questions in this book are inappropriate for my channel. So I will just have to kind of rifle through it and see what's what's there that I can use. It's called it's called um, the Book of Questions by Gregory Stock, and it um, it's just it's just like any other questions online. It's like questions that you can ask for like games and stuff like that so yeah it's fun 
why this wax just ooh, irritates me. It just does not work at all. Um, plus, these are AVs that I'm using right now, so not good. So not a lot's going on here. Um, like at all. Like, I feel like there's nothing to report. Like I said, I've said this before, I live a pretty boring life. Um, I can tell you, no, I think I already told you that in another video. We're just going to talk about our weather because it's just been atrocious, atrocious, atrocious words, 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 words. Um, so it was really cold. I told you guys in another video, it got down to like eight degrees, froze the pipe, pipes in our mother-in-law apartment. Um, they didn't burst, but it froze. And um, it was so funny because where the water shutoff valve is for our house, there's a cutout in the wall. And that's where we needed to get the heat in to get to the pipes. Like it's just a hole like this big with the valve. And so my husband, and it's in the garage, and my husband's like, okay, well, I'm just gonna turn this heater on. It's like a um, furnace heater, like a an oil furnace heater. He's like, I'm just gonna turn this on. I'm just gonna leave it running. He's like, eventually, you know, the garage will heat up and everything should be fine. And I'm like, okay, like that's a great idea. And so I come back inside because I want a diamond paint and he's out there and um, my son's out there too. <laughs> and I literally get this text. It's not, a, no, it wasn't a text. It was a, a video. They <laughs> are ingenious. What they did, okay, letter N. They took the, cause there's a washer and dryer out in the, in the garage for the mother-in-law apartment that's up above. So you have to come down to wash your laundry and stuff. Um, so what they had done was they took the dryer and they took the vent, you know, the hose for the dryer, the dryer vent thing. They took that and they stuck it in the wall and ran the dryer. And it thawed the pipes in no time. <laughs> oh, it was so funny, you guys. Just seeing this contraption that they had made, but it was ingenious. Like, who thinks like that? My husband is so... When it comes to like fixing things, I kid you not, he is like, I don't know. He is so good at stuff like that. He can just make stuff happen. Like he thinks outside of the box all the time. You know, like I would have just been like, yeah, use the heater, <laughs> which probably would not have worked. Um, to be honest, because we have a very large garage and the pipes are in the wall and the little tiny furnace heater is not probably going to cause enough heat to heat the pipes up enough to, to thaw them out. But he just thought outside of the box and was like, wait, there's a dryer right here. Dryers create heat. I need to stick this hose inside the wall. Oh, man. I'm telling you. He should, like, tell everybody at work what he did. He works with all guys, so they would probably be like, ooh, that's so cool. But it is cool. Who thinks like that? Like, that's just... Imagine how much that would have cost, like, to call a plumber. And it would have been like an emergency call too. And with it being so cold, you know that they were busy. And he just stuck a dryer hose in the wall. Bam, done. Not a big deal. He was just like, yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Crazy. So I'm 
expecting a package. I'm kind of hoping it doesn't come while I'm filming because Coco will go off and not stop barking for like 10 minutes and I can't stop the filming of this video. So I'm, I, I, I want to get the package, but I hope it just doesn't come while I'm filming this. Okay, we're getting to the end of this section. I kind of can't go down any farther because I'm running into this. I'm going to have to stand up for a second and see if I can still get you guys in the shot if I go to the next square. So you'll have to bear with me for a moment as my squeaky chair squeaks. I stand up and sit down. Okay, let me just make sure. Um, right here. Nope, you can't. Hold on. Now you can. Ugh, screw has to be so tight. Okay. So you can see this, yes. Right. Squeaky chair. All right, let's cut this off. I'm so excited to get this done. Um, it takes me an hour and a half to two hours for each square. Each square is about um, this big. Or you probably can't see the, the plot. It goes from here to here. So each square is about that big, um, which is like four by five. And it takes me about an hour and a half to two hours. And there is 20 squares. So I don't know how long that is. I, I would have to figure it out. I will at the end of this because I will have it on. Um, oh no, I need to move my light pad. And you guys are on it. I can see it. Yeah, but it's like, nope, I'm going to have to move it. Oh, this is going to be horrible. Bear with me, guys. This is like such a rainy thing to do, isn't it? This is such a rainy thing. This happens all the time. Okay, you're going to be wiggly woggly. Okay, there. Done. Hope you can still, can you still see? Yes. Okay. Move in a little bit more. There. Okay. All right. We're done with the drama. Done with the drama. I need the letter H. So I'm going to do a review, obviously, on this painting when I'm done. But I'm going to kind of give you a preview of my review. Because it's really bothering me. So this is Diamond Art Club. And they make really good canvases. And they have really good drills. I think my tray is getting dirty. They make really good drills. They have really good canvases, blah, blah, blah. We all know this. We've all purchased from them for the most part. Everybody gets it, you know. Oh no, can you guys see that part? Nope, you can't. Okay, I need to start from over here, right? Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. You can't see that. I'm sitting there doing it. I'm glad I caught it. Okay, you can see the house to here. Okay, forget the letter H. I'm not doing the letter H. Um, this is what happens when you don't know how to edit videos and you're Ramy <laughs> and you're just all over the board. I am somebody who's all over the board. I am just all over the board. Anyway, let me get back to what I was saying. I'm shocked I can even remember what I was talking about. Okay, this is like an up arrow. Um, so they have good canvases, they have good drills, yada, yada, yada. Um, however, and this is the first time this is happening to me. Um, there are parts of this canvas that I have come across. Let me get a... There are parts of this canvas that I have come across where it was so 
the canvas was so slick that I thought that the cover sheet was still on it. Yeah, like that slippery. And I was, I would look and look and look and look. Nope, it, it wasn't, there was no cover sheet. It was just the canvas. Um, I haven't had that happen to me. There is a dog here in here, Coco. Would you like to explain yourself? Have you been using my diamond painting materials? get it out. I'm just going to blow my drills around if I do that. Um, so yeah, so slippery that I thought that the cover sheet was on there. Um, I honestly did. I honestly thought it was on there and that I just couldn't see it. And like, you know how sometimes you cut and you you miss like a little tiny piece of um, cover sheet that's happened to me before. And I thought for sure that's what was going on. But now it's happened to me like four or five times. It's really disappointing so I will definitely be sealing this um, canvas which is kind of normal for me to do anyway I tend to seal my canvases but yeah I'm really afraid of the drills coming off this is one that I will be framing so um, I'm gonna actually put it right at the top of our staircase um, as you're coming up the stairs, it'll be like right in full view. Um, because it's just, I just love it. It's so vibrant. It's just beautiful. And then the other thing is the three tens. Um, let me get this dog hair. It's bothering me. I can't get it. Um, the other thing is the three tens have round, so this is a square painting. They have round drills in them. And I'm talking like a lot, like not like, I mean, I've, we're talking a lot of round drills. I'm like surprised. Like I would say, um, every other time I use my three tens, she doesn't start barking. My our our Anatolian Shepherd is barking, which probably means there's coyotes. But um, I would say every second time I use the three tens, um, there's round drills in the three tens. There's at least one, which is just so odd to me. Um, I and again, I've never had that happen either. These are things that aren't a big deal. I'm just giving you a review of this canvas. So it, these, it's not a big deal. I mean, obviously the drills that I did put down where the canvas was um, slippery, they're still stuck on there. So um, I don't know if they'll stay on there, but they're still stuck on there. So, um, yeah, like I said, it's not like it's a big deal or anything. It's just stuff that I've noticed where I'm like, whoa, like what is going on with this? You know, shouldn't be doing that. But other than that, I love the bright colors. I love that there's like flowers and um, just really pretty designs in amongst the buildings and the houses. It's just so cute. I just love it. I really, really like it. I'm gonna be sad when I'm done with it. I'm also working on a Chihuahua painting right now. And I'm also working on um, months of the year. So I've got all the months of the year and I bought the cutest little frame. I already did January. And I bought the cutest little frame. Um, it's like a six by six frame. It's whitewashed. It's so cute. And it's got the month of January in there. And then I realized after I put it in there, I'm like, I should have enhanced something on this, but I didn't think of it. And I'm just gonna, with February, I'm definitely gonna enhance it because it has like hearts and stuff on it. So 
I'll be enhancing that, but, um, and I might, when I take January out, I might change it up. There, there, there better be more of this color. Um, is there? Oh, yeah, I think I see it in here. This must be it. 3766. Okay. I was going to say, let's just quickly fill this up. But yeah, so I'm doing like three projects at a time now. And it'll be interesting to see. So Sunday, I should, like I said, I should finish this on Sunday. And, um, my husband will spin that decision wheel and we shall see what the next painting will be. I'm curious and scared at the same time. But if it's something I don't like, I don't have to do it. I can just have him re-spin it again. <laughs> Like I said before in another video, like that totally defeats the purpose of having a decision wheel, but hey, it is what it is. I can do what I want, right? Right. Okay, now I have too many in here. Too many. Where do you guys get your wax from? or your putty. I've seen so many videos of people getting wax and putty from different places. And I just, I can't decide. Like I'm, I don't want to get putty or wax and have it not work because it's so frustrating. This wax has been so frustrating to me. Um, and I just, I don't want to get something that's not going to work. There's got to be something I've tried the quake hold or the, yeah, Quake Hold. Somebody suggested that. This was a while back. And basically, it's interesting because it's putty that people use like in California or places that are earthquake prone. And they'll use this putty to like hold down, I don't know, like pictures, vases, stuff like that that could like fall during an earthquake. And somebody had suggested that and I used it and, and it worked. It did. But was it awesome no and I was just running into the same problem where I was like kind of like needing the putty a lot so I just need to find something that that works man I can hear somebody on the highway from here they must have a really loud car over. <laughs> That's ridiculous loud. So I think I told you guys that I'm framing a saw one night. She is still sitting on my dining room table. I ordered the frame, I don't know, five weeks ago, something like that. No, it can't be that long ago. But whenever I, before, or sorry, before I finished her, I ordered the frame because I wanted to have it when I was done. Whenever that was, it was weeks and weeks ago, weeks ago, we, at least four weeks ago. And um, my son has Amazon Prime. So I'm like, hey, can you order me this frame? He's like, no problem. So he ordered me the frame and I'm waiting for the frame and I'm waiting for the frame. And I asked him, I'm like, hey, can you check on the status of my frame? And he's like, oh, it's supposed to be here in January. It was like, um, I think like January 7th and I'm like, oh, okay. But I had ordered this like before Christmas and I'm like, okay, you know, okay. It says it's supposed to come. So, all right. Okay. That day comes and goes and I, I wait a few days. I'm like, okay, you know, it, it is what it is. I'll wait a few more days. And a few more days go by and I'm like, hey, sorry, 
um, to bother you, but could you check again on the status of my frame? Because like, it's still not here. And he's like, no problem. So he checks it and he's like, oh, it's going to be here. It says it's going to be here January 16th. I'm like, oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. At least it says, you know, at least it was like still tracking it and everything. So January 16th goes by. And at this point I'm like, okay, this is like really weird. Like it's just not showing up. And I waited a day and I text him and I'm like, honey, I'm really sorry. I'm like, but I think what I need you to do is cancel this order and get a refund and then I will reorder the frame because, because at that point when I had him check this, when I had him check the tracking, it just said it was running late. We all know what that means. That means we lost your package somewhere. So, um, yeah. My husband has to deal with that all the time with his job. And he's just like, if it says that, just cancel it, cancel it, get a refund, reorder it. So I reordered the frame. The crazy part is we have an Amazon store that is literally um, probably 15 miles from our house. <laughs> but some stuff isn't at that store apparently. And we have another one. Um, like 30 miles from our house. So anyway, apparently the frame is not coming from those areas. Okay. That's fine. So yeah, I'm still waiting on that frame. Uh, the six by six frame that I ordered for the calendar that I'm doing, however, cause I'm going to switch each month out every month. Um, that was overnight. Like literally I ordered it. I asked my son to order it. And it came the next, the next day. I was like, yeah, okay. Thank you. That's awesome. But like, dang. Meanwhile, my other frame's like lost in the matrix somewhere. I'm just doing this arrow here. So yeah. Um, oh, you know what? I should put this over here. There we go. So yeah, it's Friday. So my husband had yesterday off. He gets to work today, unfortunately, and then he gets two days off. So yeah, this morning I woke up and I'm like, oh man, it's Monday. I'm like, I seriously thought it was Monday. I water our plants on Monday and I was like, oh yeah, I got to water the plants today. Got to get some laundry done, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, flipping Friday? What the heck? What the heck? I'm not doing a very good job today of diamond painting. Sorry. Being messy. So how are you guys liking my um, art dot <laughs> organization videos? Is it crazy or what? Oh my gosh. There's so many to put away. I'm almost done with the rounds. Almost. I think I'll probably have two more videos of the rounds. Possibly three. Maybe. That's a big, big, big maybe. It, it, it might be two videos, but then I got to start on the squares. Oh, and you know what else? This is, that reminds me because of the spare drills. I purchased a blank canvas. Um, it's just a 30 by 40 because I'm starting out. I've never done this before and I want to play around with it. So I'm going to be playing around with that. And oh, and... <laughs> Yeah, here's a side note on that too. So speaking of my frame, so I asked my son, I'm like, well, where's my, okay. So for him, I was just like, it, to you, it'll look like a piece of paper that has a grid pattern on it. That's how I explained it to him. <laughs> and I'm like, what, where is that? And he's like, oh, it says it's not going to be here or it's going to be here anywhere between January 26th 
and February 7th. I'm like for a piece of paper, I probably could have gone to Michael's. I don't even know if Michael sells that kind of stuff, but I'm like, what? What? What are they doing? Like, what? what is going on here? I mean, I know the whole thing with the Suez Canal and like them, you know, ships having to go around the, the coast of Africa and all that kind of stuff. I get it. I don't want to talk about that, but so I don't know if that's what's happening, if it's just like affecting that or what, what is it? Cape Horn that was called down there, the tip of Africa. Ships are having to go, go down there now, go around, go all the way around, go all the way around, please. Yeah. This is a pretty blue. Wish I knew all the colors, the names. It's really pretty. Well, do you guys want to do the questions? It's going to take me a minute to find one. <laughs> That's appropriate. I could ask any of the questions in this book, but no. Okay, I, I literally can't get that dog hair off. It's like staticky or something it's stuck to the tray permanently. Just like all the dog hair on my sweatshirt. Oh my gosh. Oh, so much dog hair, so little time. I mean, I just put this, this sweatshirt, I just got out of the dryer this morning. And it's already, it's just covered in dog hair. I don't know how such a tiny dog can shed so much. I mean, it's, it's fine. It's just, jeez. It gets everywhere. All right, let me, now that I just spilled some, hold on. Just a moment, please. Oh, wow, I really did do a big spill here. And it's sticking. Sorry if you can hear my stomach. I'm like super hungry. I had oatmeal for breakfast. Okay. <laughs> Let's find a good question. Oh, this is a good one. Would you like to be famous? Hmm. Would I like to be famous? That's an interesting question and I'll tell you why. This is what I just thought of, this popped into my head. There's a difference between being famous and being rich. So, it, what does that mean? Just because you could be famous for the wrong reasons, um, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, so would I want to be famous? I don't think I would want to be famous because I don't do well with like a bunch of people and I would be scared honestly that somebody would like stalk me or like, I don't know, like I, I always worry about that. Um, when I was younger, um, well, yeah, when I was younger, I used to work at this hair salon as the assistant manager and um I had a stalker and it was so scary you guys it was so scary a lot of the times I would work um until like at night and it was just it was just a really scary scenario so and I'm not famous I don't know that I would want to be famous I don't think so what about you guys like, what if you were rich and famous? Would you want to be famous? Like, think Taylor Swift or, like, um, Kate Middleton. Because you could be Kate Middleton famous, too. 
So there's so many different ways you could be famous. You know, you could be, I don't know. I don't, yeah, I wouldn't want to do that. Okay, so there's a second part and, and, it's, and it says in what way, but I think I've already covered that. So yeah, it, it would just depend. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm going to read this even though it's kind of it's kind of cheeky, but I'm going to read this one because um this is one of my favorite questions from this book. <laughs> okay, you so you, your closest friend and your father are on vacation together, hiking in a remote jungle. Ooh, why are you doing that? Your two companions stumble into a nest of poisonous vipers and are bitten repeatedly. You know neither will live without an immediate shot of anti-venom, yet there is only one dose of anti-venom, and it is in your pocket. Why are you carrying anti-venom in your pocket? What would you do? Ooh. Ooh. See, me asking this question, it probably depends on who's in the room with you right now <laughs> that heard that question. Um, dang. So I technically can't really, it would have to be my best friend because um, I don't have parents. So for me, that's an easy one. So, but for you guys, what would you do? Would it be your best friend? Would it be your dad? Oh my gosh. What kind of question is that? Yeah. Just silly questions. Like, honestly, who's going to be in that situation in the first place? That's so ridiculous. <clears throat> Lately, when I've been doing videos, my voice has been like cracking like I'm some teenage girl during puberty. I don't know what's going on with my voice when I'm talking on, during videos. So yeah, that's a lovely one to think about. Which would you pick? <laughs> I love how you have the anti-venom and you didn't get bit, bitten. <laughs> Why are you tromping around in the jungle anyway? The heck? What are you guys doing? Okay. So did you give, did you have your answer? Or are you like, I'm not, that's a ridiculous question. I'm not even going to bother answering that. Okay, that's fair. Either way. Fair, fair, fair. Okay, let's find another one. Let's see. Nope. Ooh. Okay, this one's this one's kind of cool. If you could choose the sex and physical appearance of your soon to be born child, would you do it? Oh. Um man, that's so tricky. That's a tricky question cuz my very first reaction was absolutely not. Like absolutely not. And then I thought, right after that, I thought, think of all the advantages your child could potentially have or disadvantages that your child could potentially have if you did that. Ooh, I don't know. I'm not going to mess with nature. I think I'm not going to mess with nature. I'm going to go with a no on that one. <clears throat> My kids are grown and out of the house so luckily I'm not pregnant <laughs> so I don't have to think about that um but um I'm gonna go with a no I'm gonna rely on nature for that and just hope for the best um I definitely would not want to choose the sex of my child um and then physical appearance like I don't know that just seems I don't know I don't know. What do you guys think? Would you do that? Nowadays, man, pretty soon we are going to be able to do that, huh? With technology, the way that they're going. 
I bet you'll be able to not, 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 and I mean, not so far in the distant future. People will probably be like picking their babies and like, boy, that is like a dystopian. That is just scary to think about for me. I mean, what if everybody started picking boys or everybody started picking girls? There'd probably have to be like a limit on it. And oh, I don't even know. I don't even know. Man. Okay. These are fun. Okay. Oh, is there something you've dreamed of doing for a long time? This is a two-parter. Is there something that you've dreamed of doing for a long time? It could be... It could be going on vacation somewhere. It could be doing something, you know, out of the ordinary, going bungee jumping, or I've always wanted to learn how to sing or, you know, um, yeah, it could be anything like that. I always wanted to learn how to, you know, diamond paint. <laughs> um, it could be anything like that. What was it? What was it again? Hold on. Is there something you've dreamed of doing for a long time? I'm okay. I'm going to stop being silly. I'm going to think about my answer. Um, is there something that I've dreamed about doing for a long time? No. What is wrong with me? How come I haven't? I wonder if that means there's something wrong with me. <laughs> Okay, let's see, oh, there we go. Now that time it was the, the cover. Messing up the drills. Um, no, for me, I haven't really dreamed of doing something for a long time that I can think of. I've got diamond painting on my brain. Uh, yeah, I can't think of anything. I mean, there's places that I would like to go and like see and stuff like that. I don't know if that's like, is it, is that like a good answer? I mean, cause like, I would love to go to Greece. I would love to go to Norway. I would love to go, geez, just, just to the like Bahamas and stuff. Um, I would love to go, oh. I would love to go on um, an Alaskan cruise. Like, I, I just think that would be so cool. I used to live in Alaska. Yep, I used to live in Ketchikan. Not for very long, but yeah, I lived there for a while, for a couple years. So, I love Alaska, it's very beautiful. Now I have a dog hair on my painting. Okay, that's where I draw the line. Okay, so yeah, that's the question. I hope you guys were able to answer that. Here's the second part. Why haven't you done it? So if there is something that you've dreamed about doing for a long time, why haven't you done it? Why have you not done it? Has it been for financial reasons? Has it been just time management? Like you can't do it right now because of work? You know, is it like you're afraid to do it because you might fail? Like, say if it's something like, I want to learn how to sing or something like that. I'm the type of person, and this is, a, I think this is a bad quality, but maybe it's just, maybe it isn't a bad quality. Maybe it's just me. And it doesn't mean that it's a bad quality. Um, but if I don't think that I'm going to succeed at something, I tend to not do it. Um, because I get anxious, it causes me anxiety. So if I feel like I can't do it, I, it's like, I don't want to say I freeze, but I definitely just, I'm like, uh, like I, I don't want to do it. And like, I won't try certain stuff because of that reason. So, so yeah. That would probably be if I had a dream of doing something. 
and the reason why I hadn't done it, it might be because of fear. What about you guys? I would like to know. Leave it down in the comments. All right, you guys. Well, I am going to say goodbye. I think I've let, left you with some th things to ponder and to think about. And uh, yeah, I enjoyed your company, you guys. I always enjoy your company. I'm going to stand up with my squeaky chair. I always enjoy your company, you guys. I really, really do. All right. Well, I will talk with you soon. Loves.